Yo, what's up guys? It's been a minute since we talked about the Civic on the channel. As of now, this is the Civic. As you can see, I just freshly painted the, what is this? The radiator support and these little extensions on top. So last year on Father's Day to be exact, I crashed my Civic. And ever since then, I pretty much just lost motivation to work on the Civic. The damage wasn't terrible, but it was significant enough that it would cost me a lot of time and money. Up to this point, I pretty much just been using zip ties to hold everything together. But I mean, my headlights are destroyed. My carbon fiber fenders are cracked and they need repairs. And the most important thing was the radiator support. I've been procrastinating on this for a really long time because I did get a used radiator support. And the only thing that's really been holding me back was welding. And I did a lot off camera, but as you can see, these are my welds. Ooh. I've never welded in my life and yo, they look terrible. I'm just happy that this is held up by welds versus some zip ties. But anyways, I want to pull off all of this Target bags. All right, let's do the same. And there it is. Check it out guys. Most of the Civic is put back together and this bright blue radiator support actually looks really good. So I've been spending most of the day trying to get the fitment right on the hood and fenders. Check this out. Let's get this close. Look at that. Oh shoot. The gap between the hood and fender is very small compared to what it was before. Like even before the accident, this gap used to be ginormous on both sides. I guess since I crashed the front end, I kind of don't really mind wrestling the fenders. Before I used to really handle it with care and baby it, but now it's coming along really nicely. So now that I finally got the radiator support welded, there's a lot of things that I really missed about having the radiator support. One thing that I really missed a lot was this. For a long time, I didn't have the hood prop. I used to prop up my hood with a piece of wood or even this cardboard tube that I found. But now, I can use the original hood prop. And yo, this is a really nice luxury to have. <laughs> Before welding the radiator support back together, I was actually missing this whole piece right here where the uh, hood prop mounts onto. A lot of this stuff was loose and it used to be held in by zip ties, but now it's welded in and I could bolt everything down with bolts and it's just nice and functional again. And I could get my hood fenders and everything to line up. I haven't test fitted the bumper or headlights yet. Right now I want to do the coolant. My least favorite step is having to fill up the coolant because on the K series, it's just so awkward. And it takes a really long time. It's really hard to get the air out of here versus on the Prelude. But heck yeah, besides the coolant and putting the headlight and bumper back on, one more important step is getting the AC to work. But right now, I just really miss driving this car. So let's get the coolant in. Yeah. If you don't got one of these, definitely get it. It's a no spill coolant thingy majig. Um, it still spills some coolant, but not as much. Oh, look, it matches. Nice, nice. It still spills every so often, but definitely not as much as not having this. And yo, guys, I really try to save money. Um, so I saved my coolant in water bottle. But can you guess how many bottles I was able to get from this, uh, from the Civic? Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine and a quarter. And this most likely a little bit more in the engine block itself but as far as the radiator and i guess however much i could get nine and a quarter aquafina bottles i got the civic backed out of the garage that way it's kind of in an angle 
and it's gonna be a little bit easier for me to go under here and reach that lower hose to freaking burp the coolant this looks full but i still have what three and a quarter bottles left Yeesh. yo my neighbors are probably like what the heck is this guy doing he got his bumper on his top of his car and there you go look at that all that wasted coolant i mean it doesn't look like much but that's was one big reason why uh i took so long to fix the radiator support because i just hate dealing with taking everything apart and doing the freaking coolant <laughs> well there's still a few more things i want to do i did get a new pair of headlights and it's been sitting up there for a really long time so these are my old ones and the reason why i got new ones is because see right here it has a big old crack pretty much look at that there's a big opening and so when it rains condensation builds up in here plus you can see the damage right there that thing broke inside passenger side is okay i mean this tab just kind of broke but <coughs> excuse me also um all of the mounting tabs on the bottom broke so these both the driver and passenger headlight don't even mount to the headlight bracket so i've actually been just running these headlights just sitting in place being held up by the bumper <laughs> all right so i mean these aren't new new but they're newer than these i think they're used i got them for a really good price dang this actually looks brand new like nope it's not <laughs> because there's some condensation on the inside see look it has a little condensation right there oh man am i gonna have to bust this open and clean that out oh yeah they're definitely used see that this tab is already uh kind of rusted lame well shoot that's what happens when you rather spend 500 bucks than a thousand on some brand new headlights at least it's got the honda marking yep 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 but shoot that's gonna do it for today guys we got a lot done today or actually this has been like a whole week <laughs> i've been taking breaks and just doing things here and there but i'm not in a rush to install the headlights and bumper yet because i need to figure out how to get the AC working again so sorry um it's been a long time since i vlogged about cars and whatnot it's just been really busy and trying to prioritize or figure things out with my youtube channel so if you guys really enjoyed the video be sure to let me know and uh see you on the next one yeah